What if you were challenged to survive 100 days in Minecraft? Sounds pretty easy, right? Well, what if I asked you the exact same question, but you had to survive 100 days on one block? Yeah, it might be a little bit more difficult. But today, I took that challenge head on and tried to survive 100 days in one block Minecraft. But there's a twist, and that twist is I did this all on my one block server, which I made just for you guys, so you can play one block Minecraft for free on Bedrock or Java. You can play with friends, you can experience the unique economy on the server, all while getting the vanilla one block experience if that sounds fun all the information on how to get playing within seconds is down below in the description but without further ado let's go ahead and try to survive 100 days in one block minecraft before we hop into the gameplay i did just want to explain how to join on both bedrock and java this is open to both platforms pc console mobile all that good stuff if you guys want to join the ip is just play.thepondmc.com and for bedrock if you guys go to bedrock you click play you go to servers, scroll down to the very bottom, click add server. The IP is bedrock.thepondmc.com. Don't touch the port. The port is already in there. It's fine. If you guys want to play a console, the information on how to do so is down below in the description on how to add servers to console. Super easy, super, super simple. Let's go play. Now, starting out on day one of one block Minecraft is obviously the hardest because, well, I mean, you're, you're standing on one block. You're supposed to use this magical resource in the middle of your world to be the foundation for everything you're going to be doing over the next 100 days. We have our one block and we are chilling. Now we do need to save all the blocks we get. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off a setting I think most people aren't going to know about. If you go to IS settings, you can disable creeper explosions. So that way, if a creeper does spawn, which creepers definitely will be spawning here, uh, then you don't have to worry about all your stuff getting blown up. Yeah, I'm going to use clay for a second just to build a chest on. We can make ourselves a singular chest. All this dirt is super valuable because there is a shop, but in the shop, you can't buy blocks. You have to get all of your blocks from the one block. And with that in mind, I knew it was essential for us to get a good starting area to mine these blocks to make sure that we weren't going to be losing out on any essential dirt, wood, or other resources that would come in handy later on. There is so much clay. Oh, no! No! My first animal is gone! He's a corner! All right, well, we're definitely gonna be building up a little, little platform now. Dude, that sucks, man. That freaking sucks. Hello, sir. Um, I have nowhere for you to stand right now. But what I will do is actually... Well, no, I need water. I can't place a block below the... I'm so, I'm so sorry. No, no, don't. Oh my God. Don't run off me. Don't, ah, oh, he's sprinting, bro. He's sprinting. Oh, dude, I'm just down bad. I really don't want to waste my dirt because I'm going to be using all of my dirt. Oh, <laughs> for farming. Oh, our first sapling. Okay, now we're going to get started. I knew pretty early on we would need a renewable source of blocks that we didn't have to rely on the one block to get. And my first instinct was to make a wood farm. Thank you. Oh, wait, I can make this always day, make it always midday. So that way I don't have to worry about my trees not growing because that would suck. All right, we almost have enough blocks down. It should be good. Oh, we laid an egg. Oh, it spawned a chicken. No, I didn't think it was going to spawn one. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm about to push this sheep off. Hold up, little mans. There you go. Another sheep? Okay, well, that's good because in the shop, we can actually sell cooked muttons for five bucks a piece. So, beautiful. Hey, don't eat my grass. What are you doing, man? Expand this platform over here. Oh, what's in this? Water? Yes! Benevolent gift! Oh my goodness, that's such a... But okay, so I know whenever we mine this, this is, I believe, the last block in this phase. So phase one is about to be done. All right, that's there. We'll probably go ahead and stop the water stream. This is all just super beginner until I 
progress through some phases and I'm able to get some more blocks. I'd really love to get a lava block or a lava so that way I can at least get like a cobblestone generator going. Like that's what I would really, really, really want. All right. Phase one is done. We can, uh, I guess we can save the benevolent gift. It looks kind of funny. What is phase two? The underground. No! <sighs> well, we can finally get some stone, but it comes at the price of dealing with some monsters now. I was already starting to encounter a ton of trouble in awkward situations with a lot of the mobs on my island. Get out of here. I'm gonna eat your rotten flesh for my lunch, kid. Dude, thank you. Now, the cool part about playing one block on a server is the fact that there is an economy system where you can make money to use to barter and trade with other players or buy things directly from the server. That'll help you along in your journey. At the end of phase two, I decided a big overhaul and renovation was in order for my island. See, I plan to build a lot of cool things in this 100 days, but as it stands, my island just isn't fit for expansion. So I basically started chopping up all the progress I had made so far on building out my island in order to make room for all the really cool things we were going to be building later on in our journey. And on to phase three. We have our second benevolent gift chest. So I guess this can help us tell what phase we're on because we have two chests. That means we've done completed two phases. We're on phase three. We are on the snow biome. Winter covers the land with its icy hands. Actually, I definitely think these snowballs could be used in, uh, in building a house. Whoa! Oh, big fella alert. Does he just chill? What is he like? Wheat? Do you like wheat, sir? Excuse me, buddy. Excuse me, big bodied buddy. Yeah, you're gonna have to mosey on out of here for a second. What am I supposed to do with these guys? I don't, what do you? They're just, they're huge. My island's so small. Oh, what? Oh my, what did I just witness? There was a massacre on my island. These polar bears are killers. Dude, I can't have that. I don't stand for that. Even though I did just hit my dog with a snowball two seconds earlier. <laughs> that looks so funny. He's just fading away into the sun. <laughs> Farewell, sucker. Now, because we still didn't have any sort of cobblestone generator, the first thing that needed to be expanded was my tree farm. So I'm thinking the tree farm will go here, and then the crops will go on this side. Ooh, the big boy's grown. All right, got all these slabs replaced with stairs. Got the farm section done, including a pumpkin and melon section. And oh, I just got done harvesting the tree. I gotta, I gotta go get another big one. Dang it. And because one block can get kind of messy with all the different block types you get, I decided building a massive storage system would be in order. Now that we've got our little chest section up and running, I think it's important we finally get some sort of barn or animal pin situated because right now these guys are all living in one big pin and it's a mess. All right, so I'm thinking for the animal pins, we have some smaller ones for things like pigs and chickens because I probably won't need a lot, but cows, I do need a lot because I need to get a ton of leather for item frames over there. One eternity later. All right, just like that, we have three small pins, three big pins. Let's get them filled up with animals. And well, since I don't really have any use for polar bears, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, bud. Geronimo! And with all of our islands separated into their own designated areas, and trust me, the house is coming soon, we can finally move on to, I believe this will be phase four. Oh my goodness, this took ages to get done and sorted. All right, next phase is going to be a snow biome. And here we are. Oh, just kidding. It's ocean floor. We just went through the snow biome. All right, so I definitely have a feeling some guardians are going to be spawning during this phase. So I'm going to keep my distance. Oh, a turtle. What a turtle. How do I even? I can't even breed him. I need like seagrass. All right. I don't have a place for you yet, but I don't want you swimming off the edge. Like it looks like you're trying to do right now. So for the time being, in you go. Hey, our first diamonds. Three? Oh no, just two. Dang it. Finally though. Oh, I think this might be the end of it. Or regardless, we're at 99%. So phase four is done. But we're going to add our next addition to our island. 
a mob spawner. Now, the reason we are building ourselves a mob spawner is because, well, mobs don't really naturally spawn like they do in Minecraft because the only place they can spawn are areas you build and typically you don't want mobs to spawn because that's that's not a good thing. So by building a mob spawner, we'll be able to get XP, which we'll later be able to enchant our tools with. And then we will also be able to get things like gunpowder and bone meal, which I guess I don't really need an elytra rockets in this. But it'd be very nice to have a bunch of bone meals that we can grow all of our trees without having them to wait. And so let the build begin. Now you might be thinking to yourself, wow, it's day 30 and this is all Ducky's accomplished. Well, I was thinking the same thing too, until I realized that I would have to wait for trees to grow to then chop down, convert to slabs, expand my island, replant the saplings, and wait for the process to repeat just to make a little bit of headway on whatever I was building. I didn't realize how much for granted I took the easy resources you can get in Minecraft survival and just how important every single block is in one block. But don't worry, from here on out, we really pick up the pace. Wait, I thought I just said mobs don't spawn. How, how are these guys even spawning? Hey, this is starting to look pretty good. I like it. All right, we are almost done. Got 90% of it. Just have to get some spruce logs in. We could probably actually go ahead and remove these torches, get the water in place, and see if we can't get some mobs flowing down here. Oh man, that's looking clean. I like that color scheme. It took a little bit extra, but I feel like mob spawners always look so freaking ugly. So that's why I spent like an hour building this. All right, it is done. Let's go back to our island. We can see the water dripping down and hopefully the mobs will be flowing. Uh, but we've spent, once again, a lot of time building, not a lot of time mining. And I believe we're on to phase five. All right, so we're on the jungle dungeon phase. Sounds spooky. Dude, I don't know what to do with these freaking animals, man. I can't even ride them. Hey, we finally got some mobs in there. Let's go. And it's what I wanted. It's skeletons. I'm actually going to go kill them because I need their bones. Two bones. Very nice. Yes. No. I put my seeds up. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Yo, bro was hungry. Did you see how much he just ate? He said, nom, 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 nom. Another panda. Now we just use a bamboo. We can get a little, little farm going or a little, ah, for a little family going on. Whoa! What did he just do? He just he emoted on me. <laughs> Yo. All right, this is the last chest, the super chest that we get. And we have a lot of new friends on the island. We've got three pandas, three horses. I count six of these parrots and our two little guard dogs. So these guys can't sit here forever. So let's go make them a brand new home. All right, well, I know this area looks crap and it'd look a whole lot better if we had grass, but we don't. Because, well, it's really hard to get grass. We don't have a silk touch pickaxe, and none of the chests, I believe, have had any grass in them. So, uh, we'll have to wait a little bit to, to properly decorate the area. But actually, I just got an idea. We can replace these with the mossy slabs. And excuse you, bird, you don't want to fall off. All right, this looks a little bit better. I don't think the horses or the pandas are going to walk off because they don't seem like they want to. The birds, they're stuck sitting there. I made them sit there. So I think we're just chilling. Just going to wait for some grass to plant it in. All right, jungle little biome done. And we're moving on to stage six. I don't even know what it is, to be honest. The red desert phase. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Could definitely get some fun decorations out of this. Some fun builds. Probably also some really fun hostile mobs. Ooh, our first villager! Dude, this is perfect! Sir, where are you going? I don't know. Okay, wherever he goes, I'm just gonna block him off. Please go to the farm. Wait, I actually can just make a workbench and lead him somewhere. All right, I just need two pieces of gravel. There's our fletching table. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Wait, why isn't he a Fletcher? He just walked up to it. The sparks came out. All right, well, we're just going to trap him for here and wait till uh, we can figure that out. A wandering trader. What am I going to do? Cactus? I'll probably get that eventually. 
I mean, I'll let this guy literally just wander around because I have no need for him. Because I don't even have freaking emeralds at the moment. Another villager. All right, you can join your little pal over here. Bro, I keep on getting these bros. The first one finally actually switched to a Fletcher, as we can see. Wait, oh, there he is. Mob render distance turned out to an all-time low. But these fellas, now they're just chilling. They don't even want to get this job as a Fletcher. I don't know. They're acting all strange. Oh, this isn't going to start a raid, is it? Yo, I'm not killing this guy because I'm going to get Bad Omen and then it's GG's. And that's why they got me the big brain ducky, bro. Oh my gosh. Listen, at this point, I have more mobs on my island than I know what to do with. So when I got my first few villagers to spawn, I knew another expansion was in order to give these guys the proper home they deserved. All right, now I know this doesn't look like a sprawling, amazing villager trading area, but it serves a great purpose. We're just gonna be able to put all of our villagers in here, all their trading stations, and they can go to work. They can go to town. They can have a little bit of room to roam around. And in here, once we get our sheep in our beds, uh, we can start bringing these villagers, moving them in here, and then we will be off to the races. And I think it looks like most of our carrots are already good to go. All right, villagers in their little huts. Just need the beds. All righty. Looks like we got the roof in place. I like this pretty, uh, pretty funky, pretty interesting looking uh, roof here. But we should have shears and we can go grab some leaves. At this point, my island was really starting to take shape, but something that still wasn't was the animal pen I designed way early on in my world. And so I thought a facelift was in order to give these animals something pretty to look at while they stand there all day. And with a little bit of green added to the structure, I think this looks pretty good. And something we did start was a sugarcane farm just a little bit ago with this extra red sand we have. We're kind of down bad on dirt, but I do have a secret plan to get a ton of extra dirt because if we sell our hand, it's an extra 400 bucks. And as you guys know, most of these spawn eggs are pretty cheap other than the villager spawn egg. And right, with the village stuff done and the barn and farm area looking a whole lot better, I think it's time to get back to mining this one block. We're at 98%. The grass is almost at this little jungle biome. But since we're about to hit level seven, I should probably also look into upgrading my tools because as you can see, these stone tools just really aren't doing the job anymore. <gasps> oh, are we about to go to the nether? Please, dude, please. What is the next phase? Is it the nether? Yes. Now I'm curious to see if I get 10 obsidian, will I be able to make another portal and go into it? Let's see, can we go in? Oh, the server hasn't added a, no. I mean, okay, this is a server, but are, there is gonna be at least a downside comp uh, compared to playing on single player. But I feel like the positives outweigh the negatives, but that's uh, a little unfortunate. Ooh, a wither skeleton skull, that's interesting. Oh no, dang it. I, uh, that's okay, man. A mob's not gonna spawn. I, I've been trying to keep the last chest there so I can do any any upgrades I need to, which we are going to. But we're gonna see what our next phase is and then expand this farmland. And hopefully we'll get started on building a house soon because it's pretty sad that we haven't even done that yet. What? Idol? You guys, idol. What is, what phase is this? Is that quartz? Is this like a rich one? I don't know, I'm so confused. Alrighty, we've definitely expanded this a good bit over here. We've added some wheat in again to our carrot crops because we're running out of wheat for breeding purposes, but just gonna place down these last spruce. And then we should have, yep, just enough sand to complete this last little bit. Oh man, I also completely forgot. We have flight potions still. Let me go ahead and vote. There are uh, four different sites I can vote for the server on, and each one should give me, I think, a minute of flight. So we should have like eight minutes of flight. I really just want to use this right now to see how our island is looking. This is for... To think this all came from literally one block. Village, farm, jungle, bunch of extra farms, tree farms, mob spawner. I'm pretty proud of this, I'm not gonna lie. And finally, after so many days of being stuck with using wood in my one block world, we were able to make a cobblestone generator, which allowed us to finally incorporate cobblestone and other stone bricks into our build. 
Listen, I try not to use fly, but this is one of the one times where it's going to be super helpful to do so. Going to go down here, put this water. Does it flow? Yes, it flows. So I sit here, mine the cobblestone, and it should hopefully drop down into this water stream, which is, I guess, flowing into the oblivion. So I should also probably put a block here and a block here. So it flows down. Oh, just kidding. That flies off the edge. I guess we should probably go and block all this off as well. Okay, running out of flight. Ooh, perfect timing. Okay, so we mine our cobblestone. It drops down and we can pick it up. And so now we have two renewable sources of building blocks, cobblestone and wood. We've obviously been going hand with the wood. Sweet. Cobblestone generator, nice and small. We don't anything big. Honestly, I think we're ready to sort our inventory and keep on going. But now that we have, I would say, a majority of the essentials for a one block island. It's time to just start breezing through some of these phases. And I'm still trying to figure out what phase exactly this one is. It's just a bunch of random black bees, quartz. I don't know, it's so weird. Like, look, it's beehives. Look, it's honey. Oh, he's going, he's going, he's going. Yes, we got some bees. Yeah, this was just like a super peaceful phase. I didn't know what to expect, but it's just been bees and nice blocks and a lot of blocks. I have like three chests of blocks over there, to be honest. And I think this is the last chest. So all we're going to do, I don't have any build plans. I think every phase for the last eight or so, or like six or so, I've, I've actually built something. I think we're pretty good at the moment. So I'm just going to keep trucking through these phases. We're on our way to the ninth phase. All right, we're here with the desolate land. Let me just triple check. Shears don't... Yeah, it doesn't shear grass. We need a silk touch book. What is this mycelium? If I really want some mycelium. Yeah, I guess we could cycle all the way back through this when we have our silk touch gear. But it looks like this is sort of entering nearer to the end dimension realm. And I, I do have to give a heads up. There is no end boss fight uh in this world it just you can't have an end boss fight in a multiplayer server if you can it's probably so difficult and so insanely hard to make that happen also i have realized there haven't been any mob parties which is probably the most difficult part of one block but same thing this isn't hardcore and on top of that you do respawn with keep inventory on so this is very much a casual sort of playthrough of one block if you guys haven't been picking up i mean there are spawners and this is a cave spider spawner and so he's gonna give me some oh my god dude that guy's fast uh, it's a little bit harder to kill, but once again, if you kill, there's no repercussions. I can literally 360 myself off of this island. That actually looks pretty wicked from the underside. We can die, we respawn with all of our XP and gear, and then we get a little, uh, honestly, we get a little map of ourselves. I think it's kind of cool, but I kind of prefer like this. This mode is already really difficult. Uh, you already have to kind of penny pinch resources. If anything, since we don't get the nether in the end, we do have to be a little bit more creative in terms of how we do get some blocks like dirt and whatnot for uh, for some farm expansions. But here are bone blocks, and these are actually super, super, super valuable. We're actually probably at the end of this. We're going to go ahead and take inventory of what blocks we have and start building our house and hopefully start upgrading the villagers over there. <gasps> oh, this is so sick. I have to get a lead. Dude, I just want to keep this guy. Actually, he can just build across like this. He can stay over here. I want this guy to be in the public view because he just looks so wicked. Oh, shoot. That was the that was the last one. Dang it. All right, well, uh, you guys know the drill. Empty the chest. And then we can uh, fill in this area pretty much identical to this jungle one. We're just going to make a sort of like end dimension one over here. All right, uh, slight recording error, but we did get the uh, zombie horse and skeleton horse pin built with these fences so that they can't leave. Look how happy he is, man. And then our final phase, this is the very, very final phase of the one block. It is the end. So we have just around a thousand blocks left to mine. But don't worry, because once again, the phases do repeat. So once we get done with the 10, well, we go back all the way to one, which I really like because I think the traditional one block, you're just done. You complete the one block and you have access to the end of the nether dimension. So that's like the trade off you get. We get no nether, we get no end, but we get infinite one block. So this, you know, mobs you missed. Let's say all the fish. I really don't have a lot of fish. 
fish so I could go back to the first few ones and we could try to secure up some fishies. But right now we are building the last main structure of the 100 days, which is going to be our house. We have built a lot so far and this is probably one of the only things that we haven't built. And uh, because we've been filling in all the other areas of the island and that's going to be reserved for more farms back there, I feel like this left side of the island makes the most sense. And also we do have to be pretty space efficient because once again, our island is only 125 by 125. So it seems a lot and it is a lot at the beginning, but we are going to be continuing on with one block. And so for future farms and builds, we need to make sure we have space for everything we have planned out. So we are just going to continue on with this, build out a platform to build our house on, and then go check out and see what blocks we have, because I'm pretty sure we just have an absolute ton of different blocks to pick from and use for our house to sort of build like a hodgepodge. Trying to make this as cool as can be. I'm trying to combine as many assets from all of the different phases. Uh, so I'm, I want to do a quartz floor. I think that'd be really cool. And then we might incorporate some snow walls as well. I'm really just gonna kind of go piece by piece. This might either be the best house or the worst house I've ever made. Knowing that I'm already rather slow at building houses in Minecraft and that collecting materials within one block is even slower, I wanted to give myself ample time to make sure I got my perfect dream house in one block completed before the 100 days was up. And so we got to planning, got to building, and got to perfecting my house in one block Minecraft. All right, and this is the front of the house. It's definitely interesting. We're gonna use a bit of fly to just to come up here and to check out the roof. Listen, you guys know I suck at roofs. I hate roofs. I think this is fine. All right, well, we added some... Okay, listen, listen. I, I, I want this to be grass. I can't. Grass is it's a luxury in one block right now. So we got a dirt little patch out front. We got some shrubs. We got a little uh, a workstation area. And this is going to be the bedroom. I just need beds, but... Wool is also very hard to come by, uh, which I guess leads me probably to my last thing, which is getting this grass and transferring it over here. So I think I'm probably gonna have to replace all of this with dirt. Oh, okay, I'll probably just combine. I'll move these guys over to this pin, fix this up, and then move them back over. I guess that's the plan because, uh, yeah, we need some wool. So we can then finally add the beds in here. Oh, I thought I was gonna need three beds. Just two beds is all. And then some dark oak slabs to go around. I'd love to use carpet, but we just don't wanna have anything at the moment. Ah, yes, sleeping in one block. It's probably not gonna work. Nope, didn't work at all. But with our house complete, coming in just at the 100 day mark, I feel incredibly proud of what we accomplished. All that's left is to go through and finish out the end phase. And then we will be coming up on our 100 day time limit. Oh, shulkers? That's fun. I absolutely hate these guys. Oh, he got my horse. My horse is floating. <laughs> he just, what's he doing? Oh, dude, he's about to die. I'm about to die too. I'm about to die to a shulker. In my, in my, I died to a shulker. I want to be done with this so bad, man. Bro, where is he? Is he under the island? I'm going to have to use one of my last flight potions to go and snag this guy. Why he killed my bird? He just killed my bird. You idiot. You imbecile. He's under the one block. What are the odds? Rest in peace. I don't even name it, but rest in peace to homie. I am devastated right now. 10% to go. And we're on day 99. Oh my goodness. Is this it? The super chest? Are we going? Oh, we're going back to one, baby. And there you have it. 100 days of one block survival. I'm very happy of all the progress we achieved. What all this was able to come from one block in the middle of my world. As always, if you guys wanna play on one block for yourself, Bedrock, Java, all that good stuff, you can join the server right now. It is a 24 seven uptime. It's always gonna be online. You can join it, play for free, play with your friends, invite your friends, play one block together. However you wanna play, you can do it. Easy peasy, no problem. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, all the info down below in the description on how to get joined, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Deuces.